for your life now, and you've probably seen fitness bands on The Biggest Loser. Well, they are all the rage in the fitness world. But there are so many different types, we thought we'd help you find out which is the right one for you. And we are joined by fitness and tech blogger Sue Spate. And Sue, first of all, thank you for being with us this evening. Thank you for having me. Now, you brought a couple of hardware. Now, can you tell us I the did. top sellers that you've got there? I did. There are a few to choose from. Actually, we're going to start with one we don't have a sample of. I think we've got some video to show from The Biggest Loser. Oh, okay. It's the Body Media Band. Okay. Now, this is for people who are seriously trying to lose a lot of weight, like on The Biggest Loser. It uses four sensors to track your movement and your oh. nutrition and your sleep instead of just one, like the other bands. Oh. You wear it on your arm, and it's very, very accurate. Wow. I thought these things were going to be like big bands that you would use to right. actually exercise. We, right. we, we came in this totally. Yeah, yeah, it's a little confusing. Ignorant. Fitness well, we trackers, these Tracker. are also okay. called, so it's another name for them. So what are some of the biggest benefits of using these little devices? Um, well, they, like I said, they can track your movement, so they get you moving more throughout the day. You mm -hmm. can keep easy track mm -hmm. of how uh, well you're progressing towards your movement goal for the day. Some of them can also track your nutrition if you enter that into them. Mm, wow. um, some, and, uh, Another really popular feature right now is tracking your sleep patterns. So you That's wear it important. at night when you sleep. It tracks how well you're sleeping during the night and it wakes you up with a smart alarm during wow. the right part of your sleep cycle so you don't feel as tired when you is wake up in the right? morning. Wow, wow that is incre incredible. Now, what is the first question? Say I want to buy one of these and I right. want to do this. What should I look for when I go into the store? What should I ask? Well, you really need to be clear about what you want to get out of it. Okay. Do you want to just track your movement? If that's all you're interested in, I'd recommend the Nike Fuel Band, which is right here. Okay. Um, that's very good for tracking your movement and showing you how you're doing throughout the day, but it doesn't track your sleep or your nutrition. Okay. If you need those things, you need to different option. You need either a Fitbit or an up band. People are going to want to know how much these little devices cost. Anywhere from $100 on the low end, mm. looking at the Fitbit for that, or the new Fitbit Flex band that's coming out in the spring is going to be around that price point, which is really a great value for all yeah. the different features that you get. And on the high end, the Nike Fuel band is about $150. Can you set them so they'll give you a shock if you're not working out <laughs> hard enough? Um, some of them do. The, oh, really? up, the up band actually vibrates oh, to remind that? you what to <laughs> get your butt out of your chair. <laughs> Anything to keep you away from the refrigerator to say no. Um, you're too, get you know, Oh, that that might be a good feature for some of them to yeah, add, so Carol. Eat no uh, more. <laughs> right. Okay, I like this. This is very good. Thank you. You, you can read more about each band on Sue's blog, spatetalk.com. <laughs> We're going to put all this information on our website, tmj4.com. Yes, once again, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks thank you so, so much. Appreciate